The Packhound launcher is a modified variant of the Seeker missile rack, available as a power play reward from Lee Yong Rui. Packhound launchers are available only as a size 2 fixed mount. When activated, this missile rack fires a swarm of four micro missiles, which fly in a semi randomized swarm towards the target. These smaller swarm missiles deal 7.5 damage per successful hit compared to the standard Seeker missile's 40 damage, but can be fired so quickly that the total damage per second of a single Packhound rack far surpasses the effective damage of its standard Seeker variant. The Seeker missile rack features a powerful automatic trigger and increased magazine size to compensate for lower damage per shot, a factor which allows even a single packhound launcher to release devastating saturation attacks sufficient to overwhelm most point defense systems, even when fired at the more extreme limits of its targeting range. The packhound launcher is an extremely popular and highly desirable module. It is among the first power play modules that commanders seek to acquire, as it finds effective use in both PvP and PvE ship builds. Though it should be noted that the Packhound is so effective, many PvP tournament groups ban or severely restrict its use in official competitions. The Packhound launcher does come with a few significant downsides that must be considered when planning a build with the most significant being heat. Due to its high fire rate, the Packhound launcher generates about seven times the heat per second of a normal Seeker missile rack. Sustained fire will produce a heat load similar to that of a large shield cell bank, so it should be paired with a heat sink launcher or fired in shorter bursts. The Seeker's ammunition reserve, while supple, erodes quickly when used in a primary fire roll. New ammunition can be synthesized in the field, but feeding multiple launchers can become highly impractical, especially over sustained engagements or in PvP battles. Since the Seeker missiles fly a randomized pattern, and not directly towards the target, their individual shot speed is actually slower than the 600 meters per second indicated on its spec sheet. It's possible for engineered PvP ships to outrun these missiles if given enough warning or when approaching at high enough speed. The highly erratic flight pattern of a Packhound launcher creates significant hazards for other ships operating nearby. No other weapon offers greater potential for friendly fire interactions, a risk that must be carefully managed in combat zones and resource sites. Avoid firing packhound launchers into clusters of ships where allies or civilian traffic are mixed with hostiles. Take note of any ships equipped with electronic countermeasures, as these modules are not selective. Packhound missiles are highly vulnerable to an ECM pulse, which will destroy or disable any packhound missiles caught in the field's effect. Since the Seeker missile rack deals explosive damage, its most effective use comes after a target's shields have been disabled, though getting to this point can be challenging against engineered ships, especially ones that use shield cell banks. Shields bear a strong explosive resistance in their stock form, with meta shield engineering rarely compromising explosive resistances. The Packhound launcher is compatible with all Seeker missile engineering but I recommend the high-capacity blueprint for most builds, as it doubles the magazine and reserve ammunition capacity. This does increase module power draw and mass, but not enough to matter in most situations. A high-capacity blueprint also grants a small increase to the fire rate, which means that sustained fire will produce slightly more heat than a stock packhound rack. The two most popular experimental effects are drag and overload munitions. Drag munitions disrupt the efficiency of ship's thrusters, causing them to behave as if no power has been directed to the engine capacitor. This effect also dampens the effectiveness of boosting, but does not disable boost functionality. This effect is applied whether the target's shields are active or not, 
and lasts a few seconds after each successful strike from a single micro-missile. Overload munitions convert part of the missile's damage to thermal, making the packhounds more effective against PvE shields. In PvP, overload munitions often have little effect, since most builds will emphasize thermal resistance, often to a greater degree than explosive resistances, which results in a net decrease to effective damage. Emissive munitions and thermal cascade are less effective. Emissive munitions make a target more detectable, preventing a heatsink or silent running from breaking target locks. While useful, this effect is better applied on laser or ballistic hardpoints, since these weapons have greater staying power. Thermal cascade on a missile imparts significant heat, but only works against shielded targets. The low overall power demand of missile racks makes the packhound easy to install on any ship with size 2 hardpoint mounts. As a supporting damage source, the packhound is almost unmatched, especially against unshielded targets, where it excels at precision sub-targeting of external modules like utility mounts, hardpoints, and drive systems. When used by a multi-crew gunner, the packhound can target hostile ships at any angle, greatly expanding its offensive capability, though gunners must exercise the same care as pilots when firing near allied or civilian ships. Firing single volleys or short bursts allows the packhound a surprising level of combat endurance while limiting the risk of an overheat. This module is well worth the effort and weight to acquire, and it's one of the more dramatic weapons in the game. The cloud of vapor trails this weapon lets loose can be seen from far away, and looks as intimidating to bystanders as it does to attackers, making the Packhound a weapon equally suited for trolling as it is for practical combat. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.